temporary solution to the poorest of the poor, to the poorest of the poor. One day the poor will become poorest. Hi guys, how are you doing? My name is Wanda Achieng and I am sick and tired of my skin. Like guys, I feel like I've reached my limit with it. Let me give you a background story. So I always, not I always, I used to have breakouts, all right, when I was in high school, primary school, but they used to be easily cured um, using over-the-counter drugs. Like I'd go to the chemist and then this chemist would mix some concussions, then I'd apply it on my skin and then in weeks, in a few weeks, I'd be back to normal. But in 2021, guys, that's when the rain started beating me proper. Now, in 2021, I got severe. Okay, in my mind, it was severe acne. But according to my dermatologist at the time, she said it was mild. Guys, there's nothing mild about that acne. You have seen on the thumbnail. Those photos you've seen that have led you to this video. That's what I was experiencing. And then she told me it was mild. Anyway, let me, let me take us back a little bit, all right? So my skin started breaking out in 2021. I was around, okay, I won't tell you my age. But it was 2021. And I remember being so frustrated about it. Because, yes, I had experienced breakouts before. But this one felt different. This one was carrying me. This one was making me look like Kwenda Uko you know so that time you know internet generation and you can research on how to cure these things at at internet guys everyone around me suddenly became a dermatologist everyone suddenly had a remedy mara turmeric mara juice scrub put lemon take a lemon take a piece of lemon cut it into half rub it in sugar and then like use it to scrub your face bentonite clay like they were just it was just suggestions upon suggestions vitamin c all these things so obviously i ran to those because i hadn't used them before all right so i purchased products and you guys skincare is super expensive so i purchased products i purchased this product that my human dermatologists any people who are just around people who'd see me and just see my face like tearing to pieces and they'd be like oh no this will help you you see this dermatologists who have never even been to med school those ones so i listened to them because obviously you know sometimes I'm, I'm a talkative person but guys sometimes it's good to listen before talking so i took the advice and then went to some actually one told me to go to this specific shop that sells kenyan made brands and in this shop they gave me turmeric soap. They gave me grapeseed oil and something else. I can't remember, but I'll post it for you. And rose water. Rose water, that's the thing. So um, I'll still post it on the screen as I'm saying this. So I purchased these products. I know obviously the lady there was amazing. She was like, just be consistent. You'll see results. Guys, the results I saw cannot even qualify to be called purging. I know you other certified dermatologists who say that was purging. The phase where your skin gets worse before it gets better. Mine, Yani, Ilienda downhill. It was downhill from there. You see, so I remember my face, my skin was becoming bad and bad, worse. So I kept saying, asking, telling the people who diagnosed me, oh, no, no, who recommended these products. I kept asking them, Atihe, please, this one that my face is looking like Nini, Eh? So they told me, no, you know what, Wanda? It's purging. Relax. It gets worse before it gets better. So I was like, okay, fine. Guys, there's no better that I saw. There's no better that I saw. Now, instead of going to a dermatologist at that time, one who, had, one who is actually certified, I kept adding products. So I texted that shop back. I texted the shop back and told them, you guys, it's becoming worse. It's three months down the line. I'm not seeing any improvement. These people, instead of just telling me, hey, these products work for some people, but then perhaps they may not work for you. They recommended more of their products. 
that's when I told myself, huh, man, it's man society. This is business. They want to use my face as a guinea pig to earn more money. So I said, I'm canceling them. I'm not purchasing from them anymore. All right. So now I went to another brand, Kenyan-owned brand. All right. So over here, I purchased vitamin C, I think, and something else. All right. So actually, I didn't purchase it. My friend bought it for me as a birthday gift. So now I understand she came from, she was coming from a place of love, but then it didn't work for me. Everyone was concerned about my skin, by the way. And I know everyone was coming from a point of love because they could not fathom how I'm walking around looking like that, like an ogre. So um, I started using this product. Guys, the first time I put that vitamin C on my broken skin, and it nearly tore just, just, just vumilia, just hold on. Joy comes in the morning, Wanda. Hey, please. I ran to a dermatologist. But now, it wasn't actually out of my own will. My mother noticed my, my skin because my we stay in Kisumu as a family, but then we studied in Nairobi. Like, children in this house studied in Nairobi for uni. So, um, we had a family trip, and then we connected. Like, I came from Nairobi, and she came from Kisumu to that location now while, while you were there she just saw me and said <sighs> so i was like guy is it that bad because now my mom can't hide like she doesn't know how to hide things she'll just show you so i i, I remember feeling bad about it because this is someone who genuinely loves me like you know our mothers love you guys so if my own mother sees me and gets scared like that then it's a tragedy we need rescuing i needed rescuing so um after that trip she told me you know what you're going to see a dermatologist so she she called a few people and then they recommended that a dermatologist in nairobi which was very close to where i stayed like it was a walking distance her her offices were close to where i stayed so it was convenient now you guys the prices of these things are no joke and you know my parents are both teachers, so I don't have the luxury of quality insurance for medicine. They are very trash, trashy. Hey, so you this AON, so you are on. Hey, Mukita Waramba. So, anyway, that place did not accept that, that insurance. So, we had to pay cash. My mother had to pay cash. And I kid you not, the least amount of money I spent every, in every visit was like 8,000 bob, 8,000 Kenyan shillings for skin and then this dermatologist gave me by the way, i'm not complaining about the dermatologist because her regimen actually worked over a period of time now this is what like angered me when i went there not about her but about what she said like i you know i was there confident the first visit i told her this is how my skin is looking but i have been doing this i started mentioning for her the, the vitamin c's everything i had been using bentonite clay yani i wanted her to to know that I am also learned, like I also have some knowledge around skincare. My dears, she just told me, hey, she just let me say to the eye and told me, those are beauty, cause those are cosmetic stuff, not medicine. What you need is medicine. And I remember feeling so angry at everyone who had been recommended, who had waste, made me waste my time with all these non issues. You see? So um, I started the treatment, super expensive. I was. I sh she scheduled me for a visit monthly and she put me on both oral medication and topical ones. I remember the oral ones used to have such huge side effects on me. Okay, not such tremendous ones they are making it sound. You know, you have to add some spice, some drama. But then I remember there was one that I was put on for 90 days. You guys, that thing, Iliquen and Ipeanja, as in I used to eat. I don't know why I didn't add weight, by the way, but my intake... Excuse me, tremendously increased. All right, the other one used to just make me moody. There was one that kept giving me recurrent yeast infections, so I was like, "What's this? All for smooth skin? Cause I want Korean-like skin, glass-like skin." Anyway, I persevered, I pushed, and by the towards the end of the year, I had achieved, like I had significantly improved, like massively. So I was like, I mean, her uh, products have worked her medication the treatment has worked so you know what i told myself ah now that it's, i'm here 
I don't have to go back for a review. Tell me why after two months I was breaking out again. So I was like asking myself, so these treatments, they're not normally like permanent, permanent and pensionable. <laughs> they're not permanent. Like, am I a slave to these drugs now? Because I used to, I was put on, I won't mention them because I don't want you going to get them over the counter. Seek professional professional prescriptions first. Don't just rush into treating yourself, especially in matters of skincare. So now, I she put me on these things, but then when I'd stop using them, my skin would start breaking out again. So I was like, what is this? You see? But then now, I had deserted her for a while. I had failed to go for my previous appointment. So I just said, you know what? I'll just have to hack it. I will have to survive this, this life, you know, without the dermatologist. So now, fast forward, I figured out a different regimen using the same two okay let me just tell you guys she was i was on a, a lot of benzoyl peroxide and tretinoin so there's a way there's someone who stocks them original ones i'm not going to pin the location because please see your dermatologist so i got into it again but now different percentages and then my skin cleared but then again a few weeks back i ran out of product now see i've started breaking out now it's like this is how it always starts by the way like the rushes start and then it reaches a point where now pimples now start coming money like they come owning the space so i'm just tired like i'm like i'm so done with this whole up and about with treating acne like some people i'm not saying this kind of vitamin c's are bad and g what i'm just saying that what works for someone else may not necessarily work for you like in my case they did not work in fact they made my skin horrible like worse i know the worst part <laughs> My mom usually describes this. She usually says, I looked like Ngech. You know Ngech? What's Ngech? Ngech is a monitor lizard. I think it's a monitor lizard. She's just like, Ichala chala Ngech. And the time, you, that's like leopard skin. And you know, you guys, I never thought anything would shake me in this life. By the way, I'm normally very unshakable, unbound. I'm, I'm telling you for this for free. I'm normally one very confident girl, but acne humbled me like for the first time in my life i looked at myself in the mirror and cried the other day i just cried i was like so god this beautiful girl beneath this acne there there's a beautiful girl this youthful skin that just wants to be seen but then look at the situation huh it was such a sad moment for me i remember crying like guys acne and then people People who kept pointing it out didn't make it any better. Like, why would someone just come and start touching your face? And after you have acne, that means they are transferring their germs to your skin. And then they're telling you how it's going to be okay. After telling you it's going to be okay, now they recommend, Madam Dermatologists, huh? now they start recommending their remedies. So I feel like my battle with acne is like the worst. It's, guys, I have a few insecurities, and acne is one of them. So, when I'm, as I'm seated here, telling you guys this story, just know that this is me being vulnerable. Aside that you may never see. Okay, but I've been vulnerable lately on socials. Like, the way I, sh I shared my graduation story, like my journey with academics, and then now this. The next time, I'll share with you another vulnerability again, because now I see Nizango. So, acne, it just icks me. Like, I'm like, why can't I just have glass skin? glass like skin like i want people to look at me and see ambition like to see the future looking bright you see because hey me this battle and i what i drink water guys the other thing i don't do is do this one working on acne inside out i do it there's nothing i do not do but then somehow my acne just always wants to come back and tell me you know what we are here you are not doing away with us anytime soon. So, uh, I don't even know where I was directed at with this story. But I just want to tell you out there who may be suffering, who may be battling acne that 
we are in the same boat and i don't know if it gets better for us i honestly don't know if it will get better for us i feel like this is just something like right now i've ordered the tube actually i'll begin using it tomorrow but then i'm like is this a life sentence you see i just want to have normal skin like i don't want to have sidri all these times i learned after my breakouts you oily acne prone guys it's annoying it's so frustrating and the thing is it's not like skincare is affordable like the affordable ones are not working for me you guys who are who are thriving on menengai and arimis thank you our creator thank you our creator that's why if i apply one day like this whoa bala so um it's actually very pretty late into the night and i want to go sleep but i just thought of sharing this story before i slept because i'm feeling very disturbed it's like in my heart in my mind i'm like now what's this but then we live to fight another day it's not the end of the world if i figure out something that will work for me i will share it in the, in the future in future videos but um I know you might want to comment remedies of to, to my acne just do so to increase my comments like to increase to, to, to boost my channel but i will not actually follow them yeah because it, it has worked for you but for me hey i know where i'm from i know where i'm coming from so you guys have a good night take care of yourself take care of your skin even if you do not want to reciprocate the same energy and make you look beautiful and youthful and young. Yeah, so you guys, have a good night. Let me end this video here. Ensure you like it, comment, share, and guys, subscribe. Please, please just subscribe. I have opened out a secret struggle. I have shared with you guys a secret struggle I have. Okay, it's not quite, it's not so secret anymore. But then, so you get the point. Please help me grow my channel. Yeah. Anyway, have a good night. I love you all. Bye. Mwah.